Number 34. Camp taste turns its back on the good, bad axis of ordinary aesthetic judgment. Camp doesn't reverse things. It doesn't argue that the good is bad or the bad is good. What it does is to offer for art and life a different, a supplementary set of standards. Number 35. Ordinarily, we value a work of art because of the seriousness and dignity of what it achieves. We value it because it succeeds in being what it is and presumably in fulfilling the intention that lies behind it. We assume a proper, that is to say, straightforward relation between intention and performance. By such standards, we appraise the Iliad, Aristophanes' plays, the art of the fugue, Middlemarch, the paintings of Rembrandt, Chartres, the poetry of Dunn, the Divine Comedy, Beethoven's quartets, and among people, Socrates, Jesus, St. Francis, Napoleon. In short, the pantheon of high culture, truth, beauty, and seriousness. Number 36, but there are other creative sensibilities besides the seriousness, both tragic and comic, of high culture and of the high style of evaluating people. And one cheats oneself as a human being if one has respect only for the style of high culture, whatever else one may do or feel on the sly.